published 11:53 Eastern Standard Time, the 26th of December the 2017, updated 16:21 Eastern Standard Time, the 26th of December 2017. Stoke City's supporters and their manager were left hailing Ramadan at Christmas following this entertaining draw. The visitors Egyptian came off the bench to net a deserved 60th minute equaliser and cancel out Tom Innes's first half opener in an entertaining boxing day back and forth. For long periods it looked as though the Potters were heading for a sixth defeat in eight until Ramadan Sobi's intervention, his second goal in as many games. Ramadan Sobhi came off the bench to score for the second time in four days as Stoke earned a point at Huddersfield Town Ramadan, who kissed the ground after scoring, also netted as a sub as Stoke beat West Bromwich Albion 3-1 at the weekend. Huddersfield had earlier taken a tenth-minute lead thanks to Tom Inns, who scored his first goal since joining them in July but a penalty shout for each side, both turned down by referee Anthony Taylor, prompted a festive tiff between the managers. First, Huddersfield's Aaron Moy was taken down in the area by the otherwise impressive Joe Allen. He didn't have control of the ball, it was never a penalty, was Mark Hughes' verdict. This is a big surprise for me because he is long enough in the football business to judge this right. Town boss David Wagner responded. Maybe when he has seen the video he will correct his opinion. In a basketball affair, the visitors thought they had a slam dunk spot kick when sub main Biram Juth had his leg taken away by Christopher Schindler in the box as he was about to pull the trigger. We feel a little aggrieved, said Hughes. It was a clear penalty. The referee needs to give it. Whether he's influenced because the home crowd think it's a foul on Moy, you'll have to ask him. Former Blackpool, Hull and Derby County winger in slotted home, from close range to open the scoring after 10 minutes since was set up by a battling run by Colin Quanner, left, who burst from the halfway line to pull the ball back from the byline. 25-year-old Wideman Ince looked very relieved after scoring his first goal in 21 matches for Huddersfield this season. The scorer, who is the son of former midfielder Paul Ince pointed up and looked to the sky as he celebrated his rare goal Ince was congratulated by Huddersfield teammate Tommy Smith as the right back gave the goal getter a hug on the pitch number 22 and stood in front of a group of happy Huddersfield supporters facing away from them to show off the back of his shirt Ince's goal will have no doubt delighted a party of fans who held up a piece of tinsel which had pictures of his face stuck to it there was no argument from the German here I thought maybe it was a penalty said Wagner we're even, with the novelty of the Premier League nowhere near evaporating. The John Smith Stadium was once again noisy. Presumably, nobody had overdosed on mince pies and brandy in this raucous corner of West Yorkshire 24 hours previously. The crowd are part of Wagner's plan, and his men fed off their energy, taking the lead after just 10 minutes when in slotted home man of the match Colin Quanner's touchline pullback. Former Inter Milan man Ince had not scored in the Premier League since February 2014, registering a staggering 44 shots without joy so far this season. One time England international Ryan Shawcross started the game as the Stoke captain but he endured a frustrating afternoon Potter's centre-back Shawcross picked up a knock in the first half and was assessed on the pitch by a member of medical staff the diagnosis was not good and skipper Shawcross, who looked disappointed with his hands on his knees, left the game early 30-year-old Stoke defender Shawcross walked off the field of play with his head bowed as he trudged past the dugouts Shawcross was taken off and replaced by Egypt international Ramadan, who entered the action as a 32nd minute sub there was no missing his 45th, against an injury hit defence unlocked for a 41st time. He's been very good, said Wagner. In terms of end product we expect more, Stoke appeared to be buoyed from Saturday's morale, boosting 3-1 victory over West Brom and came close to levelling four times in a mad minute. It upped our chance creation number, joked Hughes. The Welshman was further frustrated when Captain Shawcross was forced to depart through a calf injury moments later. That's the way it's been for us, he said. Following the break, and with the first audible frustration coming from the away end Allen, again standing out in his advance role, went on a surging run down the left, played a neat 1-2 with Maxim Chupo mowing and crossed low for sub sob he to tapping, he's been immense, Hugh said of his goal-making compatriot. 
absolutely magnificent since he walked into the building. All of a sudden, Delilah was belted out from those who had made the journey from Staffordshire. Then came the penalty shouts that had both managers laughing no more. Sob he was celebrating a quarter of an hour into the second half after scoring his second goal in his last two appearances. 20-year-old Sob he beat Huddersfield goalkeeper Jonas Lersall by sliding into divert across into the net at the far post. Sobi's face was a picture of concentration as the former Al Ali winger focused on guiding the ball into Lursal's goal in excited celebration in front of the Stoke fans saw Sobhi booked, just as it did in Saturday's 3-1 win over West Brom. Ramadan was set up by a cross from Joe Allen, centre, and the Wales star ran over to celebrate with his Potter's teammate.